Delicious. Hello everyone. So thank you so much for coming back. So this is the final one for the two tower, the movie, and we are going to be done after this one. So I have I am I have watched two movies of the trilogy already for the Lord of the Rings. It's amazing. It seems like you have so much information about them thank you so much for all your comments some of you have like shared so much information that i do not actually need to go read up but actually it it gives me the interest and curiosity to go and, and read up a bit more as well when you share things again thank you very much for being here and thank you so much for watching my previous videos and liking subscribing and commenting it means a lot to this channel and like i said i do work full time i have a corporate job full time this i'm doing after work and then editing them night sometimes in the weekends but i try my best to keep a bit of um, just to maintain the frequency i i do not intend to do it every day but because this, uh, this trilogy has uh, long long movies and the reaction videos are long as well that's why i'm doing it on a daily basis again thank you so much for uh, tuning in today i'll hold, not hold you for for a long time because the video is going to be long let's again the final part of the two towers i always try to go and say it's twin towers i don't know why but anyway enjoy down there oh smeagol has to be has to be his following Oh, poor guy. To enter the Forbidden Pool bears the penalty of death. He is our guide. Come, Smeagol. Nice, Smeagol. That's it. Come on. It looks... It sounds deceiving. <gasps> Don't hurt him! <it! gasps> are, are you... Why? <gasps> That's enough. Why? You poor thing. Oh. Answer me. Why? Why do you have to do that? The ring of power within my grasp. Oh, come. Oh. Chance for Faramir, captain of Gondor. To show his quality. Oh no. Okay, I think it's time for Frodo to put the ring on. The ring will go to Gondor. What's, what's shown here with all the water, the mountains, the trees, it's absolute opposite to what's right outside my window. It's all apartments. <laughs> yes, we've got trees, but oh, come on. Oh, I envy this, this place. The ants have not troubled about the wars of men and wizards. For a very long time. I would love to be carried by a tree. Yeah, I know he talks a lot and it's slow and things, but it's interesting. I would love to be carried by a tree, but even though it will be really scary at first. He seems to be caring. Tree gathering! Is it? Yeah! I'm to be sent with the women into the caves. That is an honorable charge. You do not command the others to stay. They fight beside you because they would not be parted from you. Because they love you. How did it come to this? You are under a spell. And it all came to this. I hope some help arrives. Not much. 
much help you. We have trusted you this far. You have not led us astray. That is no Orko. Open the gate! Help! Help has arrived! Oh? Oh! Elves! It's possible. I bring word from Elrond of Rivendell. An alliance once existed between elves and men. Long ago we fought and died together. Three thousand years ago. We come to honor that allegiance. We can have a bit more help though. A bit more help. Oh, the poor boy. I think even the elves are questioning themselves, isn't it? <gasps> Oh, there's a whole country coming towards them. Let's hope they last the night. <laughs> this dwarf is such a pessimistic guy of everything. But it adds to the whole vibe of our boy. I think the women and the elder they are so helpless, isn't it? They are, yes, they are safe the, with the children. But your loved ones are in the forefront of this war. I think, like the, the lady said, like, I'd rather be with my loved one next to him or her and fighting. And, like, yeah. I do not know whether I will have the valor to die the way they, these men are pushed towards to do that. But you do not want to let them be alone at a time like that. So it's a difficult situation for both parties. <laughs> How are they gonna fight with swords when they are on the wall and these things are down? I, I don't get it. Obviously the bows and arrows help. <laughs> Didn't they discuss what they are gonna do? Why did that guy go ahead and then just shoot? They need to get a command, isn't it? You did everything but you did not discuss that? Because these farmers and all they wouldn't know what to do. So it begins. We have agreed. You are not orcs. What kind well, of good news. decision is that? And what about Saruman? Now don't be hasty, Master Miriadoc. Hasty. I think by the time these guys decide the war will be over, the war the world has ended. Oh no wonder these things are happening in the forest. Ah yeah 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 yeah. yeah. Ooh, look at the flatters. Armies never end and they are like ants keep coming and coming and coming they're like are they like multiplying on the <laughs> oh? there's another attack. oh come on we can take them trust me <laughs> I cannot jump the distance I have to trust me <laughs> Uh, don't tell the elf. <laughs> this guy. Oh. <laughs> how 
how do, how do their their arrows keep replenishing even though they are just like keep shooting non-stop arrows that I know I, I shouldn't make things sense but that's interesting I'm always trying to get something with it Will he bring his his colleagues and go? There is no curse in Edelvish and Tish or the tongues of men. Yes, yes. saying we'll get through it to through it together but he can't see it. Oh no look at Prado They're here So much death Oh come on kid What can men do against such reckless hate? At first light on the fifth day at dawn The numbers, I don't think they have killed even 100. Looks like there's 15,000, not 10,000. your bearings. It's me. Frodo. It's your Sam. Doesn't Frodo's eyes look like Smeagol's? They both look the same. Folk in those stories had lots of chances of turning back, only they didn't. They kept going. Yeah, you have to. But there's some good in this world, Mr. Frodo. And it's worth fighting for. True. Very true. Ooh, those are running back. Stay out of the forest! Are the trees gonna devour them? Captain Faramir, you've shown your quality, sir. Yes, you have indeed. The very highest. Why do you do that? Jim? Go, Frodo. They did fight you quickly. If you bring them to harm. Oh, poor Smeagol. Oh. 
I feel sorry for them. Come on, keep up. The battle for Helm's Deep is over. The battle for Middle Earth is about to begin. I wonder if we'll ever be put into songs or tales. <laughs> what? Frodo wouldn't have got far without Sam. Indeed, you wish he would have. No, Mr. Frodo. Samwise the Brave. <laughs> with watching the whole movie as before this is a long movie oh from the beginning from the get-go I had a really good feeling that Gandalf is gonna come back yes there were times that you're like oh is it for real was it a dream but the fantastic thing happened this time this Gandalf is back there's so much more hope for this whole mission now and not that the rest were incapable, but Gandalf at that depth to the whole story. And he's like the leader, he's guiding them, this elder, you know. So it's, it's really fantastic to have him there. In this movie, we are getting to know a lot more about Gollum. Smeagol. I think Smeagol sounds much better. So, I... Yes, his intentions are unclear because he's still a slave to this ring so he has he's sometimes having mixed emotions but i think he's i, I actually pity that character i feel really sorry for him and uh, he's tr he's having a huge battle within himself whether to let his good side come over and help these two hobbits get to that mission and he knows how to destructive that ring is so just to help that mission or else is is he just want to have that power but actually he's not he knows that he's not going to have it he's going to be just taken away by its master but i i really like the like uh Smigo's character i know he did something that he could have done differently why did he lead them to the black gates but you understand yes like he said yes the master asked him to take to this place but not which route to take so it's it's it looks really fantastic i really love the scenery the the beauty of nature or oh, that's something i just can't really explain i can't put it into words i felt really sorry for the king of rohan it's a fantastic movie again. How many wonderful things happened there. The best thing was Gandalf going and helping out King of Rohan. That was superb. I really enjoyed that that part. And um, it was really sad to see. The, the, it will, but even though he recovered from his spell, it was really sad to see him figuring out that his son has died. And how many things have actually crumbled down uh, in his kingdom thanks to him being under this whole spell I, I was really surprised why did Aragon let that guy go away because you know he's gonna go and feed 
all the information to Saruman. I was really surprised at that. Not that I'm supporting bloodshed, but he is a conniving person. So I'm, I, I was really surprised why Aragorn, Aragorn did that. Did that. It, it was interesting to learn the story between Aragorn and Arwen uh, back in Elfland. And it's, it's really sad. Uh, like I mentioned, I do, I do understand Arwen's father's intentions. Yes, eventually she's going to be hurt one day. That's something that we all undertake without knowing when we really love someone. We get so attached, we become affectionate. But eventually one day you have to let go, you are going to be in pain and sadness, either party. Anyway, moving on, it was really interesting to learn Faramir was Boromir's brother and the way he had to find his brother his death is, is really sad but I, I really found their father was such a evil character he was putting down his own younger son he was doubting him he was really pushing down him, like ripping apart his self-esteem it it's pathetic you can create a horrible person by doing so especially when a parent does that to a child so that, that was really disturbing to see I, I can see that there's so much pain and he always want to prove who he is what he can do to his father because his father only sees his older brother it's really sad but but I, I think this is not going to end up end up in a great way because there is something for him to prove and now you he has Frodo and the ring so not the greatest thing but hey ho and it was a fantastic movie I thoroughly enjoyed it there was action a lot of fighting a lot of heartbreak a lot of sadness but at the same time there were really good things happening in this one so last time i was really sad seeing gandalf fall into the darkness through the fire but he came back and he came back with an upgrade to himself as the gandalf the white and um so he's actually taking the the character or the place where Saruman was supposed to do, be taken in their community. It was really great to see the trio of the Aragorn, the, the dwarf the, and the master dwarf and the uh, elf together. So them bonding together and actually them fighting wars together, They're them bringing with Gandalf, bringing the communities together. Oh, it was It was really sweet to see them first time seeing Gandalf because they all thought he's he dead he was dead as well and then it was really heartwarming when they could bring all the communities together and then uh, fight the wars in the war in the in Rohan with the king and the the elves and everyone's with everyone's help it was fantastic it, yes actually the the way they did it with uh, with the Saruman's um, army i thought it's, it's it was really overwhelming like you feel like in the end like did they actually do anything even though they have been killing so many that you feel like oh they killed 100 when like 100,000 came at that time but overall i think it was it was a fantastic piece there was good and bad together so it, it was really good and uh I, and the from the characters i thoroughly enjoyed Smeagol's character. I, I find it they have used this character to represent the duality of human. So we all have that goodness in us and at the same time this ugly side in us. So it's just uh, that there's this constant fighting between those good side and the bad side in Smeagol. I, I really like the, the way they represented it. You feel for the character like of Smeagol and you, I, I don't know, I felt actually sorry for the guy because he's so enslaved to the the ring and he's so consumed by it. Like, look at him. And he's just like starving. He can't 
but he has to be next to the ring that's what it is for him unfortunately i think for uh, towards the end he's again losing his trust in the master because he did not understand why frodo went and asked him to get out of that pond when then the, those uh, the soldiers came and just took over him so i think he is now having a bit of a grudge so the end is a bit questionable because is he going to really lead them in a wrong into the wrong place but having sam his sam keeps frodo grounded because frodo is getting absolutely attached to the ring uh, you can see that he really wants he's getting that power hunger and then he he becomes himself for a while again he goes into it i'm worried for the next one i'm worried that there may be harm coming to sam from frodo because there was a bit of an inclination for that during this movie so um, i'm worried for that but then the trees the trick the tree characters were fantastic it was like even though it doesn't happen in real life it was like the trees and nature taking revenge for what humans did for the, to them and uh, i really like that elderly looked at the tree the, and then how he was just talking about things and don't be hasty i thought it was fantastic it, did, it takes them like years to discuss about something that's what the elderly do right you talk about everything under the sun and uh, it takes hours anyway so uh it was it was fantastic I thoroughly enjoyed this this movie. It was it's a really good movie. The music pieces, the the soundtracks are fantastic. Thoroughly enjoyed them, and uh, the scenery. Uh, really, I, I love the nature that they are showing. So, I'm very much looking forward to the next uh, movie. I will watch it tomorrow and then edit it and send it out again. For all of you, thank you so much for watching these videos. It means the world to me. And if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Leave me a comment and please subscribe to the channel. It really helps me. I would be uploading the full reaction video on the Patreon page. And I also wish to do like a poll to discuss uh, what are the, the upcoming movies to watch uh, for the upcoming weeks and months so if you would like to you can actually head on to patreon page to give me a little bit more support and uh, also to participate on the, po at the polls and at the same time to watch the a uh, full-length reaction video just wanted to let you know I I do work full-time I have a full-time job and uh, this I do uh, in the evening or throughout the weekend so um, I would like to spend a bit more time so it depends on your support on this as well thank you so much for being here it means the world to me and I hope you enjoy the movie yourself as well and may you have a great day wherever you are and thank you again for being here